Okay, so now we're going to be looking at, in general, polygons. So polygons uh, is coming from the word poly, meaning many, and gon, meaning sides. <clears throat> so we're looking at many-sided shapes. So the most obvious one up here is the triangle. Okay, so this is the triangle. The three-sided shape. We've already met those. Then we've got the four-sided shapes, known as the quadrilaterals. Then we have the five-sided shapes, known as pentagons. So, pent, pentagram, okay, five-sided. Uh, the building, the pentagon, has five sides. Then we've got six-sided shapes, known as hexagons. and seven-sided shapes known as heptagons. We've got eight-sided shapes known as octagons. So octopus has eight legs, or eight tendrils, so yes. And then you've got the nine-sided shape known as a nonagon. And finally, the ten-sided shape known as a decagon, decimal, ten. I don't know why I put octagons. Oh, I, put, oh, I seem to have put S's on all of the rest, so I'll best put S's on that one as well. There we go, triangles. Okay, so, these are the names of the shapes. Triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, hexagons, heptagons, octagons, nonagons, and decagons. And really, you should know all of those and be able to identify them by the number of sides. Now, what we can utilise is also to find and look at uh, the total of all of the interior angles for each of these. Past the triangles and quadrilaterals, however, you won't need to know these off by heart but you will need to really remember the theory, because it's very useful. So we know that the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. For a quadrilateral, we know that they add up to 360, because you can divide the quadrilateral into two triangles. For a pentagon, you can divide the triangle up into three triangles. So that must mean that all of the angles inside must add up to, well, 180 plus 180 plus 180, three triangles. So they add up to 540 degrees. So each time you're going to be adding on 180 degrees. So for hexagon, we have one more triangle. Notice how I'm cutting it, or drawing them all from one corner. So this time we've got four triangles. So that's four lots of 180. So that would get us to 720 degrees. So for heptagons, we'll add another 180 on. So that would be 900 degrees. Then for octagons, add another 180. So that's 1080 degrees, or 1080 as uh, snowboarders would say, so that's going around 360, three times. Then you've got the nonagons, so add another 180, so that's 1,000, uh, 1, sorry, um, 260. And then add on another 180 for the decagons, which gets us to 1,440 degrees. So each time you're adding on 180 degrees to get to the next one. So you could remember all these and memorise them, but ultimately that's going to be quite tricky to do. I certainly don't remember them all. So you could theoretically be asked uh, from a ten-sided shape and work out the angles, but it's very unlikely. So. Really, knowing that you can split a shape up into several triangles um, is a problem-solving uh, technique, which is very useful. 
So beyond quadrilaterals and 360, I wouldn't remember these numbers, but knowing that you can split the shapes up into triangles is key.